guest, Ben here the last few days I've been puzzling over how just how to install the seat uh, uh, supports. Um, this is where I'm differing a little bit from uh, the plans for Pinguino uh, because uh, I have elected to buy uh, another uh, back band rather than using the one that came with the kit. The one from the kit's perfectly all right, but I have a lot of experience with this particular back band, the Reggie from uh, Immersion Research. Um, I've used it in another boat, which and I like it very much. It's quite adjustable, uh, uh, and I I just like that that feature, the ability to adjust it forward and back and so forth. Um, but it left me with a problem. Does you know does it mount in the same way uh, as the uh, one that came with the boat, or uh, is there some other way I need to? Back band as it uh, sits in my uh, glass boat, um, and uh, uh, I did some measuring to see how far those uh, mount points were from the back uh, of the, the boat, and then tried to reconfigure it. Uh, uh, I will get the same kind of a, a measurement in uh, my Pinguino, and uh, the advantage is that I can pull that seat back in and out, make it tighter, make it looser, make it shorter on the pegs for shorter paddlers and so forth or move move weight forward because um, it's got a ratchet uh, ratchet um, back band that allows you to uh, move that uh, back band. Well the other thing I was concerned about especially with this installation um, was the mounting boards that uh, came with the, the boat. Now they're very thin. I have, I, I have glassed them on two sides. You can see it here. Uh, but I wasn't sure that once I put a bolt through there and was tugging to the back that um, it would be beefy enough to really hold up. So what I did, because there was more than enough material, was to double it uh, and then laminate the two pieces together so that I have a double thickness. This is what that looks like. You can see the two thicknesses of wood in here. They've been measured and cut. The top part here is cut at an angle because the actually the uh, um, cockpit rim slopes down at that at the point where you're putting these in. Um, so I've done that with both sides, and I'll be taking these clamps off before long. installing the supports for the seat back. Um, finally, when you get all done with it, you just have to do it. Uh, I did put the seat back in before I put things in permanently uh, just to see if it looked right. Um, it did, so I have gone ahead and uh, put the seat back places in place. I used some thickened epoxy to um, give a rounded edge, at least on the inside. Um, of the boat where you could where it would show um, and then went ahead and put fiberglass tape uh, at the bottom on the uh, outside and inside and on the back of the top edge um, of the installation. Um, I'll give you a look at what this looks like. I also included a, put a couple of uh, uh, loops in the uh, glass them to the bottom of the boat so that I could attach a couple more pieces of the seat, the hold downs, uh, to it um, as we get the thing finished. So I'll uh, show you this right now. This is this is one side, and I put a uh, a bead of uh, caulk uh, in here, of you know the thickened epoxy in here, and then covered it with tape uh, and put. Uh, this little little bit of a gap that was here is filled with that. There's tape on the back and tape on the back here and the same on the other side. The hole is drilled almost exactly where um, the Pinguino seat would be. Uh, they wanted it at two and a half inches. This one is at three. Um, and uh, uh, it looks like it will work just 
uh, fine for me. Over in the corner is one of several straps, uh, loop straps that I put in, which I'll be using to uh, um, hold the seat back down when I get in and out. It'll hold it in place. So that's where I am now. This is a not standard installation. That's not exactly the way uh, Pygmy uh, asks. It's, and it's not using their seat back, but by and large, it's the same uh, process that they would have used.